What's up guys, Sila here with another guide for you. This is going to be a hunter's pet guide on the rare pet skull. And a lot of you have been asking me to start doing hunter's pet guides again, so I am. So skull is an electric looking ice wolf, he's pretty cool. And he is a spirit beast, so this means he's only going to be tameable by BM hunters and usable by BM hunters. You're not going to be able to use him as marksman or survival. You'll need a full BM spec all the way down to Beastmaster where you get the ability to tame exotic pets and use them. He is a level 80 elite, he has 5 spawn locations in Storm Peaks, which I'll cover in a minute, and he isn't part of any achievement, so there's no point in killing him, he's only really a hunter pet. So he has 5 spawn locations marked by the black dots on the map, as you can see there's a couple where two are very close to each other, and that's where I'd recommend camping, and just do a, a flight round every 20-30 minutes or so. Now, his spawn timer is meant to be from between 10 to 24 hours. Now, quite a lot of people have noted a 10 to 12 hour respawn, while a, quite a few people have noted a 20 to 24 hour respawn. So I'm going to put the gap as the 10 to 24, but I'd say it's more of a 10 to 12 hour respawn, to be honest. But there's no clarification on that. And in the background, you can see the different spawn locations. I'm just showing you them. Now, a good add-on for helping you get Skull is called NPC Scan and NPC Scan Overlay. What NPC scan will do is when you find Skull or when he's in your area, it'll flash on the screen, it'll make him clickable, it'll mark him, it'll make it very clear and obvious that he's nearby. And then NPC overlay will put dots on your map. So as you can see, there's blue dots on my map now. They're where Skull can spawn, and it'll do that for most rare elites. Now, usually when you log on as a hunter, it'll have Skull automatically added, but you may need to add him on your own. So you'll go to your interface, your add-ons, NPC scan, then search. Then at the box at the bottom, type in his NPC ID, which I'll put in the description. That's 35189. His name, Skull. And where he spawns. And then you'll be able to click a plus sign to the right, which is blacked out for me because I've already got him. And then that'll, that'll add him. Also, if you notice there's a red cross next to Scar, that means I've already cached Scar. It means I can't find him again. So if you've got that on Skull, it means you won't be able to pick him up with NPC scan. Now, this usually happens even if you've never found Skull. If a hunter has it, it'll cache it as well because it's the same NPC. So there's a couple of ways to clear your NPC, uh, your cache on NPC scan. The first is to do slash NPC scan, all one word, space, cache. And that'll clear your cache. Now, if that doesn't work for you, there's the old school method. Where you can go to your World of Warcraft folder. And inside your World of Warcraft folder, you'll find a folder called Cache, and inside Cache, you'll find WDB. Now you need to completely delete WDB. All that does is stores your monster cache. And when you log on, it'll create a new cache folder, or a new WDB folder, and you'll be able to find him again. So I hope this guide's helped you out. Don't forget to leave a thumbs, comment, and subscribe if it did, and look out for more guides coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya!